right, folks, a little fair weather maintenance. Um, something you probably should do uh, while your trailer is put away. If you've got it stored at your house, this is a good place, good time to do it. Um, we're going to have to check over the battery, make sure it's in good shape and uh, running well. Um, mine just goes on with a strap, pull the top off. Notice that on the top, I'll show you these, there's holes here. This is, a, this is my voltage meter, so I cut that, but there are holes on the top, and uh, that lets water in when you're, when you're traveling, if it rains. We just uh, undo the, I do the positive first. There's a lot of argument about whether you do the positive or the negative first. The positive is the black one on trailers. Um, I pull it off, <laughs> pull off fast so it doesn't spark too bad. And the negatives are the whites. They're just on by wing nuts. You don't want to lose those. So we'll pull that out of there. And we'll take the battery and um, we'll clean it up uh, with some baking soda and a toothbrush. Make sure the caps are on tight so no water and baking soda get in there. But we'll clean it up and make sure the corrosion's gone and all that. And we'll take the battery box. And one other thing I want to do, because a battery box fills up with water. And there's no drain hole or anything in there because if it was an inside battery box, um, they wouldn't want it to leak. But since it's an outside battery box, I'm going to take, I'm just going to take a regular old handsaw and just make a, make a notch in the corner. Like that. And that's, uh, that's enough that the water will leak out if it rains. You see that? Just a little thing. You can see through the notch. See it that way. But uh, that keeps the water from staying in there. I'll clean this up. I'll wash this up and clean it up. And wash the battery and clean it. Then I'll probably put the battery someplace else. Um, this is, these rails have some corrosion on them. So I'll... Uh, I'll wash those with some baking soda and water and I'll uh, sand them, scrub them a little bit and uh, probably hit them up with some Rust-Oleum paint so that they look better and they protect them from rust. that bad um, no real metal degradation it's just mostly paint and uh, little tiny surface rust so we'll paint them make them look good again but it just uh, shows you're taking care of your trailer if you ever want to sell it and uh, you know you can show that you took care of it 
you didn't let the battery sit there and rot on the trailer. All right. So I have spray painted this now and it looks pretty good. I don't know if it's really dry. And it's a little cool for spray painting, but I think eventually it'll dry. But it looks really good. I didn't paint the entire frame. I just did basically the cross beams and I assume that I'm gonna assume that sooner or later they'll blend in with the dirt. So it looks good. All right.